why pay more and haul less when you don't need to. Our channel. My name is Madison. And I'm Carter with PDM Financial. Today we are talking about one of the most common misconceptions in factoring, recourse versus non-recourse factoring. As far as factoring rates go, why don't you kind of explain the difference in what you're going to pay and what you're going to see as far as your rate. One of the biggest deals between recourse and non-recourse is going to be your factoring rate. For a recourse factoring, it could be anywhere from one and a half to three percent. And this is per load, by the way. For a non-recourse factoring, you're going to pay anywhere from four to six percent. And along with the higher factoring rate, what you're also going to get on a non-recourse agreement is way tighter credit on your brokers. So not only are you paying more, but you'll be able to haul and factor less brokers than you would on a recourse agreement. So if you're talking to a factoring company and they're wanting to sell you a non-recourse factoring rate, what they'll say is that if the broker doesn't pay for any reason, that that load will fall back on the factoring company and not you as the carrier. That's just not true. Which if you read the fine print, non-recourse only applies if a broker goes completely out of business and files bankruptcy, which happens very rarely. So if your load is delivered late, if there's a claim on a load, if a pallet is missing, any other reason, then if the broker files bankruptcy, that non-recourse load becomes fully recourse and still gets charged back to you. Well, and let's be honest about it. If your recourse factoring company, if they're doing their job and they have a great credit check system like we do, mm -hmm. then you really shouldn't be getting a ton of chargebacks and you're going to be paying less money with recourse. It's not worth the price increase to me. Mm -hmm. um, it's not worth the little bit of brokers that you can haul for. If you have any more questions about recourse versus non-recourse factoring, leave us a comment below. We'll try to do our very best to answer any more questions in the comments. Why pay more and haul less when you don't need to? Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs>